Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Crisis on Infinite Earths. So we're going to be talking about some stuff. It's going to be some theorizing and such like that. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Crisis is exactly a week away from when this video is going up. It's currently the 7th. We are returning for Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow on the 14th of January for the final two episodes of Crisis, and I'm so excited, I'm sure most of you guys are excited. I think it's kind of good how they, you know, did the break in between the episodes, because now I'm, like, even more excited, because I'm like, what's gonna happen, I've been waiting, and I think it's better than just, you know, getting it all done in like a week or so, and, you know, maybe we would have forgotten it by now, but it's still on our minds. You know, we're theorizing, oh, who's gonna come back, you know, what's gonna happen? and different stuff like that online and that's kind of what we're doing today we're going to talk about who's most likely to die in the final two episodes and who's most likely to come back in crisis on infinite earths so obviously in the comics there is a lot of permanent stuff that goes down the flash barry allen dies and he doesn't actually return in the comics for years like real time years and wally west takes over so in the comics it was used as an event actually to kill off these characters that you know they'd sort of run out of stories for they could reintroduce people or you know introduce new people or get people to take over from roles that they've sort of worn themselves out of so aka barry allen also supergirl dies and doesn't come back for a while so there are some permanent stuff that they wanted to do on purpose and so i'm guessing they're going to do similar things but i don't think they're going to have such big consequences in our shows as compared to the comics where you don't have the flashback barry allen for absolutely years and you have wally west taking over that's just simply not going to happen on any of our shows Obviously Arrow is ending so that is a different story compared to say The Flash because you can't really permanently kill Barry or like Kara or something as their main characters on their shows and we've seen that they aren't sort of willing to get rid of their main characters that are beloved by fans. As seen when Barry went into the Speed Force at the end of season 3 he came out right at the sort of middle part of episode 1 in season 4 so really showing no confidence in Wally taking over the show or anything like that. Obviously I think that you can't kill off the Flash or Supergirl or anything like that or like White Canary for Legends because you know they are the leads and I would be very annoyed if say they killed off Grant permanently and just got rid of him. So they're obviously not going to do that. But anyway, so let's go in to the theorizing. So most likely to survive slash come back. Obviously the surviving characters right now are just the Paragons, the Anti-Monitor obviously, and Oliver as the Spectre as we've seen in that recent trailer. Also we should be expecting a trailer sometime this week because we are you know a week away exactly from crisis so be on the lookout for that and i'm sure in the next few days we'll start getting some sneak peeks and stuff like that some little promos so be on the lookout for that and we'll obviously make videos on it but anyway so most likely to survive slash come back i think out of the paragons they're all going to be fine especially supergirl because i've got a theory about superman which we'll talk about in a minute but i really feel like the paragons are all going to be good I think Lex is going to be fine, I think they want to reuse Lex and bring John Cryer back to Supergirl whenever they can, so I don't think they're going to permanently kill him off like they tried to do last season, but then they were like, nah, we want to bring him back because he's that good, and so I think Lex is going to be fine and all good. Apart from Barry, Barry has a chance to die and, you know, disappear and he doesn't return for a couple of episodes or something like that, because it's been confirmed Barry does disappear in episode 4 of Crisis and we'll get to that in a second in the sort of likely to die section of this video and so yeah the Paragon's pretty much going to be all safe I believe unless you know the Anti-Monitor kills them and then they rewrite Destiny and they're all you know dead and then they are brought back after so we'll have to wait and see but every big character from the show seems to be like they're probably going to come back we know that iris is back we know cisco's back we know caitlin's back 
we know that you know Alex is going to be back we've seen in the trailer Nia now was back and so you know it's not going to be as permanent like I said about you know compared to Crisis in the comics because they kill off so many goddamn people and in the crossover we've seen some glimpses of other Earths with people that we hadn't met before I believe all those characters are going to stay dead I'm fairly sure they will and so I'm pretty confident we won't see them again they're on the likely to die list however every big character from our show they're not going to try and kill them off because I think that that would be way too final and I don't think they're going to go down that route with the sort of main popular characters like they're not going to kill like Laurel off or Diggle or something like that even if Arrow's ending. Okay so let's move on to talk about likely to die in Crisis on Infinite Earths. So like I said I've got the Flash on this list not really to die obviously there's a chance he could die because he disappears he vanishes in crisis but he's been confirmed to actually disappear in this crossover in next episode as it says in the synopsis for part four of the crossover so everything sort of happens the paragons have to try and escape you know them being trapped in you know the place without time and so that is all happening whilst barry actually disappears i don't know how but I'm guessing it's something to do with the Anti-Monitor. I think the Anti-Monitor calls upon him and probably takes him away and uses him to his aid. Obviously, you know, Barry's not doing it on purpose, but I got a feeling that's going to happen. So Barry's going to disappear. There is obviously a likelihood that he could die. And so, yeah. Now let's talk about Arrow. So, you know, Oliver has died already. So I'm a bit hesitant to put him on this list due to the fact that he's died. They brought him back, and, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be fine by the end of this crossover, even though it was his destiny and his sort of deal with the Monitor that he would be the one to die instead. But, you know, things have changed, and, you know, circumstances have led to different things in the future. So I don't think it's that likely that Oliver's actually going to stay dead at the end of the crossover, because I don't think they're going to kill him again, because they've already killed him already. So, yeah. Now talking about my Superman theories, because in the comics, in Crisis, basically there is this massive sort of moment where you see the death of Supergirl and you get the iconic moment of Superman holding her. So I just have this sneaking feeling, yes, you know, the Brandon Ralph version, you know, he got erased from existence, some of the other Supermen were killed obviously like the normal one on the CW Tyler Hoechlin he was killed by the antimatter wave like everyone else but they're gonna come back but I got a feeling that one of these Superman characters are gonna die and you know we will have that scene sort of reminiscent of crisis but with Supergirl holding Superman's dead corpse or something like that so I feel like they're gonna pay homage to that in some way and so to stay dead, I believe that some of the Earths will remain destroyed. I think like Earth X we got a glimpse of. And I think probably Earth 2 because that was one of the first Earths to be destroyed in the crossover. You know, it was prior to the crossover actually. It was in Arrow. And so I think some of those Earths are going to stay destroyed. And therefore all the characters there are going to be dead. So I don't know about Titans. Titans made a cameo in part one of the crossover. So I think they all survived because, you know, they got their own show. I don't know if they're officially linked into the Arrowverse or if that was just like a fan moment where they were like, yeah, this is a possibility, but maybe with the changes in reality, maybe they're not going to be able to cross over or anything like that. And so with these planets staying dead, obviously the characters are going to be dead. So like on Earth X, I don't think Earth X is going to survive. I don't think it's going to return, sorry. And I'm pretty sure that, like, the characters of the Ray, who we saw in the previous crossover, I'm pretty sure he's going to stay dead. And, you know, some of the cameos that I mentioned, like the Birds of Prey, Huntress, and all them lot are all probably going to, you know, not come back because they're not that important. I don't know about, like, the Smallville version of Superman. I think he'll be fine, but I don't think we'll see him again in, like, any crossovers. So, yeah. That's about it for this video, hopefully you enjoyed it, this has been sort of like a theory video on Crisis, we're only a week away so I thought, you know, we need to talk about Crisis some more, yeah we've been talking about it a lot, but it's the biggest event of the year and I'm just so excited about it. So let me know how excited are you for the final two episodes of Crisis, so remember, stick around, turn on notifications and subscribe if you're new as we head towards next week 
where we get Crisis, and obviously I will review both episodes and talk about everything that happens right there. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.